Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Science Thursday. In today's episode, we're going to talk about Omni processor. So let's dive right into it. So you have to understand, we humans poop a lot, a lot, like literally in tons for per human. So it's a very significant thing. Now, again, you have to understand this aspect also that let's say assume for uh, easy numbers say if there are 10 billion humans on this planet, only 5 billion people have good access to proper sewage system. Now that creates a problem because that 5 billion people don't have good sewage system. Now that's a very, very serious problem. Not because uh, like, you know, it's a luxury and all that simply because it's a pathogen breeding ground basically half of the waterborne bacteria can literally thrive grow mutate and uh, like literally annihilate populations uh, if feces is not taken care of properly so it's not a uh, about luxury or dignity it is a necessity you have to take care of it otherwise we all die now on top of that because uh, many of the small towns and uh, small states and specifically the countries that are becoming rich right now and like they are laying down the foundation uh, many times they do something like that okay from house to a certain Central system they have a like you know fecal uh, matter collection system and they just dump it they're just like okay just let it dump outside of the city wall and all that and now here's the problem with that if it is done like this like you just let it go in the nature because of the high concentration and the amount of it it can contaminate groundwater let that sink in groundwater aka entire humanity's prime source of water can be contaminated because of this and once that is contaminated unless everybody has a let's say a reverse osmosis or ultraviolet water purification system we did so this is a very serious issue it's not something that like okay mumbai slums or rico slums and all that no it's a very serious issue so again, if it is this serious and like people die because of this and there is not even a discussion, if only discussion is like, okay, 50,000 people die per day uh, because of it or 20,000 people die per day because of it. It is that serious. Like that's the discussion aspect. It's not like, okay, uh, oh, it's not that big of a deal or climate change and all that. No, it's absolute. So why don't we solve this problem? One thing you have to understand, uh, many countries that have learned this, uh, the lesson, they are generally older countries, European countries and American countries. They're old. Like they have, they've been there for like 270 years, like comparatively speaking India is like 70 years old so uh, that creates a problem is like because the money requirement is too damn high Dubai can do it but most other people can't do it like it's too damn high on top of that it's not that you just need money it's the engineering pipeline like switch treatment plants they are ludicrously complex like you need to have people who know chemistry you need to have people who know biology who need to know uh, like you know temperature management uh, thermal dynamics water dynamics and all that like this like you need to have a very uh, like you know skilled workforce who can handle this properly now, of course, you can just train them like, okay, do this, that, that, if this happens, that. But again, if you want somebody who like who can handle the situation and like really run this plant at peak efficiency, th that's expensive. On top of that, this is losing money. So let's say if for some reason, let's say Bill Gates come around and it's like, okay, uh, here's a hundred million dollars, go build a plant. Okay, awesome. You built it and you were lucky enough, like you had educated people enough and all that. Okay, you're running. But it will continuously consume money. That's the sad aspect. And you are uh, basically charging people money for taking care of their waste. And it's not a very uh, pleasant thought. Like I, I'm like, I'm doing something that I have no control over. Like ideally we want to run on photosynthesis. We can't. It's just you want to charge money for that people really are not uh, favorable of that and in terms of uh, uh, politics in terms of municipality the amount of money these people consume like uh, this uh, plants even if you automate it it's ludicrously high that is the problem like money so what is the solution now uh, bill gates and melinda gates uh, they are both uh, creating a foundation you must have heard of that now that foundation they invested a lot of technology one of the technology was this omni processor now the idea with this system is it's very simple it's as simple as it can be and it will make money now think of it this way if you have a water treatment system that is let's say expensive to buy the capital cost is high okay you bought it but again running cost is very low because it is simple like inherently physics wise you don't need to have like you know five six layers of phd to understand this like simple it's just simple okay you are doing this this will happen and this will happen so basically you can give it to like people who don't have like you know uh, high level engineering degrees and uh, it can make money then everybody will do it because making money people want to make money so you might be like okay doesn't that sound too good to be true if you have checked my last video about uh, water treatment you have already specified you can make electricity out of sewage water now that is one route of using biogas now this route is completely different this route is very simple what they do you dry it you burn it and you reclaim it that's it 
now what is happening so this system is designed for bio waste so do understand it's not for industrial waste management or it's not for somebody to like okay i'm gonna throw away my lead car acid battery there that's not what it's meant to do it's for human switch human feces and all that urine and all that it can take care of that so what will happen you will have that either collected by a multiple uh, low grade switch treatment plant or directly from people's uh, septic tanks once you collect that you will send it into a dryer unit now a dryer unit will do nothing more than dry it basically you just evaporate it now here's the funny thing that's your water source now because you are getting water from evaporation you are getting 100 percent distilled water this is as pure of water as you can get because there is no filtration there is no ro membrane there is no uv system it's just evaporation so no biological contaminant can cross it no matter what no biological contaminant can go through but chemistry almost nothing has exact same boiling temperature so almost none of that can also cross uh, in terms of physics again nothing can cross it and they have a filter of course they do take care of like what if some salts are you start to have uh, like you know something start to uh, because of there will be steam pressure uh, what if it uh, you know pulls up something with some contaminants and all that they have a filter and then they will condense the uh, like basically steam and voila you're clean 100% pure distilled water. Now that's the problem. That's why they have extra water treatment. You're not supposed to give people uh, distilled water. You have to mix something in a uh, little bit of calcium, little bit of salt, something. You have to mix something in. So that's your water output because you are taking the switch and even if you see sludge and all that in a, from a switch treatment plant, it has very significant percentage of water in them. It's not like a minuscule amount. You're going to get a hundred, a hundred plus liter out of this and that's from per, uh, like, you know, per ton. So it's a significant amount of water. Do not think like it's nothing. It's a significant amount of water. Now what happens to that thing that you have dried? Of course, you went through dryer, water is out. What do you get? You have biosolids that are dry. Now that dried biosolids go in to a burners a furnace basically that furnace burns it as a high temperature as it can and it has a lot of control mechanism to make sure it's burning optimally basically they don't put too much fuel too much air like they try to maintain it as good as possible now that creates a lot of heat because like biomaterials are like really really good it's like burning dead bodies so you're gonna get a lot of energy out of that so what they do they boil steam and run a steam generator this is different from uh, biogas they run on methane this is directly running on steam power so from steam generators you're gonna get your electricity and the rest uh, of the steam that is coming out because even the output port of a steam generator does not mean it's gonna have cold liquid coming out of it only gonna have low pressure steam coming out of it. that steam is reclaimed and sent into the heating element that's why at the beginning of the plant you have to send electricity to it but once it started running because of the waste heat that is coming from uh, steam turbine it will be re uh, used as a primary heat source so that's how it's working basically the fuel is directly coming in you are drying the fuel the dried uh, thing is basically water you are taking the water away you are uh, now while the fuel is good it's ready to be burnt like coal you burn it you get uh, your high pressure steam that high pressure steam runs a generator now it's a low pressure steam but still again it's a steam and high temperature you literally send it to the heating bed and heating bread helps the dry it's very simple you dry it you burn it and you reclaim the energy so you get basically you get water distilled water like it is very clean then you get generator of course electricity is supposed to be like for per small plant is supposed to be like 100 to 200 kilowatt not a minuscule amount that's a good amount like that can run a few homes and then uh, of course you're gonna also gonna get ash now that ash you have to understand it's uh, not a very high value product but still a valuable product because uh, in, in modern construction we have learned like making uh, bricks out of soil while while they are good like they do work and we have been using it for 5000 years it's just uh, making it out of fly ash basically uh, ash that is coming from coal power plant it's much better it's much more lighter much more durable this is something like that so they tested this also like can we reclaim this and make it uh, like into a product so you're getting three source of revenue one low source ash one high source water one medium source electricity and all of this because of fecal sludge so that's the whole point it's very simple you just take it you dry it there is no ro membrane purification there is no chlorination there is no uh, ozone treatment nothing it's just absolute simple evaporation and nothing can cross it so that's how it works and given the fact that we'll get directly drank the water out of the system and not to mention this is exactly how nature does it basically where do you think your sewage ends up going so this is what nature does is we are doing it in a closed environment and getting the benefit out of it so that's how it works like it's not a hoax it has been going on for four years i provide the, the link uh, video down below and uh, pfd or pfd has <laughs> phd I forgot what it's supposed to say. Basically, P uh, PDF of the plant that sells this system and uh, cost and power output and all that. You can look into that. 
so okay if it if this works like if, if it's a real thing and r&d cost has already been taken care of by gates foundation why the hell you don't see it everywhere specifically in the developing world now again in the world which has like let's say sweden and the uh, usa they already have sewage treatment so they don't need it what about india let's say mumbai slums and all that and what about the guyana and places that are overcrowded and like have a lot of slum areas the reason for this is still very expensive now of course this is cheap but this is relatively cheap it's like comparing between 200 million dollar versus 100 million dollar but you have to understand still 100 million dollar and if people can spend 100 million dollar they won't be living in the slum that creates a paradox it's not uh, like basically very cheap on top of that the returns even though it's creating three products none of the products are like either in high enough amount or in terms of like a high enough uh, basically profit margin that you are like okay uh, i'm just gonna take a loan you're gonna take very long time to repay it so and all that happened because they are using steam steam uh, turbines are basically very expensive and the fact that burner is there so even though everything is in it the system is very simple it's just they're expensive very expensive so the plant that system uh, like this scale plant is a, a small unit they take upwards of uh, 3500 square feet of area so basically you put a large container uh, basically container box few of them and that's the surface area like volume you need so it's not a big plant and it does do the work and i provided a pdf down below you can literally see through every single detail and uh, like few of these can take care of uh, mumbai slum basically so that's like a few crore of people 10 million to 20 million people so it does work but it's just that the capital cost is still too damn high so unless they can reduce the capital cost by a factor of few times as in like bare minimum 10 times or something like that you're not gonna see this everywhere now this is a very good investment it does work everything is it's just capital cost is too damn high right now now of course compared to other system is cheap but again cheaper for like that's like telling me like iphone is cheap so this was my presentation on Omniprocess. I hope you liked it, learned from it. In that case, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't worry about it. You can press dislike. I would urge you to press it twice to show me your extra disappointment. And leave a comment because I reply to all of them. Check other videos on my uh, channel because there are a lot of them. And please subscribe. Press the bell icon if you are free. And as always, thanks for watching.